It's your boy Warlow back with another my team video. And we gotta have a discussion. I'm going full out pocket watching here in this video. Okay? I don't care, no one's we get some more okay. We need to we need to go out full out pocket watch. Because this is uh, this might just be the end. I mean we're we're getting to the to the breaking point of my team at this stage, the the, bre the breaking point. So let's discuss. Like I'm, I'm literally on. Like you know, it is really, 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 really bad. Like very bad. When I'm on Madden, I'm out here just trying to snipe a little bit. I'm trying to find Tariq Hill snipe like randomly and casually. But let's hop back on 2K real quick because I just been so fed up with the way 2K been doing things. Real quick. It sadly started with this when 2K said they was partially offset by some softness in mobile advertising and sales for 2K24. Because they were later declining for 27, I mean not 27, 7%. And ever since then, this game has gotten more money hungry than anything. But sadly, sadly, the whales of this game wants this, okay? I feel like we leave that part out of this, out of the discussion completely, is like... The gamblers on this game, they want to gamble. Like, there's people that will, you know, that are big money. They'll just gamble reckless numbers to pull a, like, not even pull a card. Gamble in the IRL. So, honestly, they use 2K as their gambling similar. People think, like, Troy Dan is the only people dropping loads of money or something crazy like that on the game. There's people like Troyden that aren't your content creators that drops loads of money on this game. There's a there's like a lot of them just like that. And sadly, they want content like this. They won't admit it. They'll be like they will they will literally they, they like it, like 2K. I think they thought that the player market was going to bring in more people. And, like, more people would mean, like, I don't know how they fought that with the lock-ins being overpriced, but still. They fought that since more people are locked in, it'll make up the difference. But, yeah, we clearly saw it didn't because they're not even adding Austin Reeves to the player market. So, in all honesty, it looks like 2K does not even care one bit about the player market. And, and, and my question would be, why can't they bring back the auction house? I just, I feel like they, I, 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 that's just pure greed right there. That's my thing. I feel like that's just pure greed. Because they can easily just do that then. Because it doesn't affect the gamblers. The gamblers actually probably want that more. Because I feel like the gamblers have to pick up on eventually. That you are getting finesse when you open the packs. Like say you pull Kareem. You're only getting 200k at the quick sell. Say you're trying to pull the Opals. You're only getting 98k. So you're not getting anything when you're gambling that crazy amount of MT. Or money. Like in your card. If you pull the card. You can't even use that for the next card. You basically just can't even get it. You can't gamble and still get the car, you know? So that is really the point I'm trying to make is people think like, oh my God, like I heard DVG's video saying like people weren't playing him. He must not be on the East Coast because I've been matching Lonzo every game. Like on Unlimited, I like, it was scary. I went on games where I was matching Lonzo literally every single game. And, you know, Lonzo is rare. I did not pull Lonzo. I opened a lot of packs of MTs. We didn't show it, barely. But, and I did not pull Lonzo. Or any Opal. So, like, if you have Lonzo and you see the people with the Opals, they most likely ripped a boatload of packs. And we forget that, that the whales do matter. Okay, they are a community that literally wants to spend and swipe their credit card no matter what. They got big pockets. They want to they gamble. Gambling is fun to them. So they want to just gamble, gamble, gamble it away. Like, that's why the auction house, it catered to that. Because you can still sell the card, but it also catered to every, like, a lot of people. And, and the gamblers. The player market, the issue with the player market, why it was never truly going to work anyway. First of all, 2 ks a dick is just the worst dictatorship of all time, okay? Just, they're just the worst in general. Like, that's just the start of it. That's why it wasn't going to work to begin with. But, two... The whales are not gonna like the whales. Are like you saying them? People like Troy Dan, sir. Troy Dan wasn't opening packs. Like you, what do you think? A lot of people like Troy Dan aren't ripping them because why? Because I even said before their packs were not enticing. There was nothing enticing me to open a pack this year. Like there was no point of me really ripping a pack because they didn't. You can just go to the player market and buy them. Like why would I open a pack and then I can get the car for like a third in price tag? 
it doesn't really make sense because there's no high price card anymore. So you kind of lose that excitement. And I feel like 2K realized that. They realized the reality is they're not losing anything. They already were down 7% in like making what they wanted to make. They already were down. So they're probably making way more money. That's why like, I don't see a happy ending with this. Like, all of a sudden, they're going to go back. Maybe, like, in the, maybe when, like, you know, April, May, when the community tends to, like, grow more, they can do a little, they don't have to be as predatory as hard. Maybe that's the hope. But right now, is like, the whales want this content. It's sad to say. The whales want this content. I mean, you see the gameplays. I mean, I've been seeing on the Jay-Z uploads all those gameplay videos advertising them. Like, he even showed they got, like, he had, like, 100k views in total from all those videos. Like, you know, he just advertised all of them. Like, which we're all, like, I mean, he, you know, that's that just, ugh, that drives me crazy. Then complaints. But, but, it's not a big deal. Not a, not, not a big deal. It's just, the whales realistically want this content. It's just, it's sad to say that it's ruining the mode. But, like, I won't, I honestly say don't open packs. You're part of the problem. They are part of the problem. But these same whales are, are, are they, I don't like the, I don't like the call people whales because I feel like it's disrespectful. But, you know, but, but we're just going to call that say because so y'all can understand what I'm saying. But they, they want to spend, they want to gamble, they want to chase that card. Because on the auction you could do it and it still would be there. Because a high expensive card, people are like, oh, but cards be accessible in the player market. Accessibility doesn't mean money like uh, sad like what 2k what 2k made a lot of their money is through gambling people wanting to gamble a loads of money on a pack to pull a card that is what makes 2k a lot of money so that's why the player was never really for them and on on why they would want a market like this because then it takes that gambling aspect away which is going to result in less money so i don't know how 2k didn't see that to even begin with but hey, we're just gonna just go with it I mean, I guess I think they fought that more people, but that didn't happen. And you know why that didn't happen? Because they've done so many things in the past to drive away their community a lot. So you know why that couldn't work? Maybe back then, if they weren't being so greedy and predatory and making the game worse every year or something like that, then just maybe that I, it could have worked. But it doesn't really make as much money when you drove away a lot of that community away. And now you're depending on whales, like the to have to make up the rest like they don't care about losing your fifty dollars because like a person that wants to spend a thousand two thousand they'll spend two grand so why price lebron at 100 you know the whales want this content they like to gamble they want to gamble for andre or Inja. it's like the sad reality that we are in I hate it. I, I hate that my team's in this state. And 2K chose. They could have either went with it and they went full out with them because they make more money with them. And not with the community. And the cost is burning the community to the ground. So I, I don't know. Like, a, 2K better hope they like, stay along for the ride. And I just, I feel like, though, eventually they're going to have to realize, like, okay, our car is not selling for enough. But I feel like they're just, like we said, we showed point guard Michael Jordan. Like, they just keep increasing the power. You know, they just keep increasing the power. So, like, I feel like every single time when 2K is about to go down a little bit, they'll just keep increasing the card instead. And I feel like this is here to stay for a, a while. Like, I don't feel like this is going much of anywhere. Like, Michael Jordan, where is it? Right here. I don't feel like this is going much of anywhere. The whales on this game wants this content. It, it, people, yeah, but I have played Lonzo a lot, Rudy. I played them like Lonzo's in Unlimited, and I'm seeing them more and more and more. It's just they want that content, and those people bring in the most money. It's just a general fact they bring in the most. Because the people like Troy Dan, you don't think there's no one else like Troy. There's a lot of people like who have bad. We all see it. Gambling addiction is bad. Like people have, some people have it bad, and they use this game for it. And like. Like we said, the, the packs were not enticing enough. That's why they were doing so many creative things with packs and it wasn't working because they took away the auction house and they priced everything. So it makes it not enticing for those people to be ripping packs. So in all honesty, they're probably making way more money than they ever made this whole year. In general. Probably because we they, they, I don't because people see saying bring in the player market. But we have to give some honesty real alternatives because they're not gonna listen on losing money because they were 
generally saying they weren't making no money from it. And to be saying, they're not, like I said, they're not even adding Tuesday content. That should tell you everything you need to know about the player market. Like, that they weren't making enough money from it. So, in all honesty, I think what you need to do is, like I said, the auction house need to just return and go back to normal. It, it just, it, I don't understand why that can't be. And I said that, that just, it's just greed. It's just greed, but... Yeah, what's really gonna ruin the game mode in my team this year? It looks like it's gonna be the whales. They want this content, and 2K is catering to them. So there is an audience; they are cater catering to people. Even though I think they're screwing them over at the end, but those gamblers liked it. They like it. They like the rush of. They like it. You can tell. You go in your pack open the videos; they get the most views. It's just we all know it is true. Y'all, y'all, y'all know. We all know. We all know. It's, it's like that. So, yeah. The real truth is, the gamble, the, the the whales need to stop spending money. I don't even think it's general in the community. Those people need to stop spending. I don't even you know for things to change. And like, I, I just don't know. I don't feel like they will because this caters to them. It caters to what they want. I feel like eventually, but like, uh, it's hard to me to say. I don't know what this mode is gonna be in the future. It just might be them at this point, but yeah. But yeah, that's a tangent. I was going on, see you on the next my team a video. Key!